now that the space tourism race is set to spice up in 2026. And Nicolina Carufe can bring us up to date with what to expect heading into the new year. The December cold moon made a splash on social media as one of the last shows of 2025. Those space and astronomy fans will get even more of a treat in 2026. A total lunar eclipse is set to occur on March 3rd, visible across the entire country for the first time since 2022. This eclipse is extra special, being a blood moon. Um, a lunar eclipse is caused when the Earth comes between the sun and the moon. The sun lights up the Earth and we cast this shadow out into space. And so as the moon goes into the Earth's shadow, it's going to darken, almost kind of disappearing. And then it's going to turn this beautiful red or bloody kind of orange colour. All you need to do to witness the celestial event is to look up as it will be visible to the naked eye and last longer than usual next year. 2026 is also a year of exciting space missions and rocket launches. When it comes to space tourism, the race is heating up. SpaceX's Starship will likely have its first launch to Mars, a test without passengers on board. Blue Origin's new rocket will also be coming online alongside Virgin Galactic's introduction of their vessel. And it's not just visiting the planets that's the focus next year. We have about four private companies launching missions to the moon. Not tourists quite yet, but getting that infrastructure to support things like NASA. NASA is also set to reach a major milestone. Their Artemis II mission will see four astronauts venture around the moon. The 10-day flight will help confirm systems and hardware needed for early human lunar exploration missions. In the midst of the excitement of rocket launches, companies will also be forced to tackle the issue of space debris, long becoming a concern with experts. But all of the new rockets being developed, we'll probably have about 10 different rockets being tested this year. All of them have a component of reusability, and that's the big thing. How do we limit space junk? Well, we make our components reusable, you don't leave them in space, and you build it out of better materials. So that's going to be at the forefront in the future in 2026 that we're seeing of all the designs. For those elements that do end up returning back to Earth, some are sure to put on a show like they did around the world in 2025. Nicolina Karufe, Sky News Weather.